tell me, what does a left-handed guitar and a one-armed man have in common? Well, it's his guitar. Stick around and you'll get the story about that, and we'll see what's inside this left-handed Telecaster kit from the Fretwire. Hi, I'm Rasmus. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Guitar Overdrive today. We're gonna talk about the Memel Caster. My wife is actually the person who first discovered Tony Memel on TikTok. Well, discovered for me at least, and introduced me to him. And he's this very inspirational person who's all about good vibes and kids and just very positive person. And um, he happens to have one arm. And I was just blown away by this guy and I immediately knew I had to build him a guitar. So that's what we're doing. We're starting this project today with the unboxing of the kit that I'm gonna be starting as, or using as a starting point for this guitar. So it's a left-handed Telecaster, and um, it is from the Fretwire. This will be my third or so kit from the Fretwire. Um, it's not a sponsored video though, although I should mention that I did get actually get an email from the Fretwire asking if I want to sign up for their influencer program or whatever, but I haven't followed up on that. I wanna stay completely unbiased, um, well, at least to the point of, I did buy the kit, so of, of course I like it enough to pay money for it. And um, my experience with them has been pretty good in the past, so I'd rather do a good kit than um, a parts caster in this case. And I will talk a little bit about more, more about that during the unboxing. So stick around and uh, we'll get into it right away. Before we actually do, Make sure that you like this video if you are entertained by it and you subscribe to the channel and make sure to also check the links in the video description because I'll have links to all of Tony Memel's stuff or at least some of it because he's all over the place, not just TikTok. Um, and I'll also have links to this Telecaster kit if you are looking to build yourself a left-handed telly. We have here the box. I have not opened it yet. I'm gonna use my trusty folding knife here. Let's go for the short blade. We'll just cut the tape and get into it. So, this is my second Telecaster from the Fretwire, but my first left-handed guitar. So we'll see if left-handed means same good quality as I'm used to. Here we go. As always, the instructions come in the form of a barcode that you scan. I've gotten used to that now. It bothered me at first. Here we have the body. Let's start with that. So this is supposed to be a basswood body. I wasn't sure if it was basswood or alder. Actually, this feels like alder. It's heavy. But this is a, yeah, this is a nice solid body. I don't no, I would estimate maybe three and a half pounds in that range. As you can see, all the holes are pre-drilled, including the ground here for the bridge, bridge screws here, uh, cavity for pickup, cavity for controls, neck pocket. Everything is looks like it's where it's supposed to be. And uh, I'm not sure, but it looks like this is a, maybe a five-piece body. Five-piece body. Yeah. Doesn't matter because uh, we're not going to be putting a stain on this. It's going to be a solid color. And so the only thing that matters is that it's cut properly. So, so far so good. It comes with a white pick guard, which we will not be using. I'll be replacing this with a black one, which I have already purchased. Let's move on to the hardware part. Start with the bridge here. Comes with the usual crappy cable. The bridge is a very plain looking one. There's nothing special about it. It has that ashtray bottom part no ashtray top, obviously. Chrome parts, we'll be keeping those. You got your neck plate strings, we won't be using, we're replacing those. Got an output jack. Screws and springs and such, including the strap 
buttons. We got crappy tuners. These tuners, I'm not gonna use them. I'm probably gonna just toss them. I have nothing but bad experience with these kinds of tuners and um, that's not specific to this kit or the fret wire or anything. This any kit I've ever gotten. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it comes with tuners, they're basically garbage. So I'm gonna be putting some locking tuners on this guitar. We got some more screws. Well, there's the same screws actually. And then we have the pickups. Well, they're definitely magnetic. We got the neck pickup here. No, this is the bridge pickup. <clears throat> the bridge pickup has um, a brass plate on it, actual brass plate, which actually surprises me a little bit. Has a fat magnet on underneath it. It shouldn't surprise me too much because I've built a Telecaster before from the fret wire and it also come, it came with a similar um, pickup, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Um, but I guess I just forgot that it actually, actually comes with a decent pickup. Um, same goes for this one. These are obviously ceramic. Um, but they sound pretty good. They're not bad pickups. So I'll be keeping them. And in here we have the control panel. Everything is already pre-soldered. They're using small pots, but that's okay. They, they sound fine. Everything here, unless there's actually a defect on it, whereas it, it doesn't work. It's a little tight, this switch here. But unless it doesn't work, I'm gonna just keep it as is because there's nothing wrong with this. So in other words, of the hardware, the only thing that I plan on changing out immediately is the tuning keys. You get rid of those. All right, so we have one part left and that is in the neck. Arguably the most important part or Second most important part, depending on how you look at it. Oh, little piece of that flew away. That's okay, I'll find it later. Let's sit there for a second. All right, so, it definitely feels a little rough. Uh, maybe sanded to 220 or something like that. Not much more than that. So I'm gonna need to do some sanding. Um, obviously, I need to shape the headstock as well. Let's feel the frets. Uh, they're going to need a little bit of finishing. Um, I can see visible tool marks on the fret end edges here, or the ends. <clears throat> There's some sprout, but it's not crazy. I mean, I've seen I've seen much worse. Uh, I like that little the little wavy grain in the fretboard there. That's really nice. Of course, I'm supposed to hold it this way because it's a lefty. I really like the wood part of this. The frets are gonna need some love. It's the back, also nice. I like how the lines fall on this piece of wood here. Looks like there's a slightly discolored spot up here. Um, I don't know if it shows on camera, probably not, but right here there's a spot. And it might just be that the wood is slightly different color there. Um, because there's a similar spot here on the heel. The good thing about fret wire is that they match their parts up before they ship it out. So you avoid many of the pitfalls of doing, say, a parts caster where things are purchased individually and then um, combined after the fact. So in my experience, that's one of the best arguments for getting a a kit from a reputable company like the fret wire. So that's what I'm doing. I'm very happy with this. I gotta say, it's a good starting point. Yes, it needs some love, but all necks do when you get them like this, an unfinished neck, right? So I'm gonna need to finish it. I haven't decided on how to finish it yet. Maybe I'm gonna go the true oil route. I like using true oil a lot on necks. It gives a really smooth, soft finish. But I also like using lacquer, so. We'll see, we'll see what I decide on that one. Five piece body, really well cut. Um, nice piece of wood on the neck, but some love needed there on the frets. Uh, 
Average hardware, decent, but not fantastic. Garbage tuners, garbage cable, garbage strings. Uh, so you'll wanna replace all that stuff. But other than that, I'm excited to get started on this guitar. It's gonna be green with a black pick guard, and it's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna document the creation of this guitar in a series of upcoming videos, so make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to follow that story. And uh, I hope that you will. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and uh, see you around.